Well, hello all my fluid art friends. I know you're probably wondering what this video is about, but the title should be able to tell you. I am going to show you how I wrap a packet, a, a painting. Okay, first off, um, I've coat, uh, sealed up the back, painted it, made it look pretty. Got a little piece of dust right there. Um, now, I have seen ATD do this, so I am going to wrap it in this shrink wrap, which protects it from a lot of stuff. Okay, wait a minute. I gotta put that down there so I can pick it up because I just I just cleaned it off with alcohol. Okay, and I know this looks awkward, but oh shoot. Come on, box. This is going to be the... We're going to make a box for it out of this. But first, you have to wrap it. Okay, and this is what I'm doing right here. It doesn't have to be tight, tight. You just got to... This stuff seals on itself. I got this roll from uh, Walmart in their packing department. Um, I think it was like $8. And because you wrap wrap it a lot um it doesn't matter you know because you go over it and over it it doesn't matter because see it sticks to itself i'm gonna have to do it this way <sighs> this is a little awkward for me okay i gotta get it back in camera sorry about that okay Because, um, try not, once you clean it with alcohol, try not to touch it anymore with your fingers. Okay. More importantly, is the front all wrapped? And it is. Okay, so, you can tear this or cut it. Ah, uh, where's my knife? I'm going to need that knife anyway. It's not easy to cut it or tear it one-handed. So, okay, but I will smooth this guy out. Doesn't matter that it's a little ugly looking because your customer will take all this off before they hang it up. Okay, let me put this out of, out of the way. Okay, next thing I like to do is I've been told you're not supposed to use bubble wrap, but that's about all I have. So, next thing I do is I get my big piece of bubble wrap. Now, I'm going to tell you where I get my bubble wrap at this big. Go find a furniture store. Oops, you can't really see with this. Sorry about that. Go find a furniture store that sells furniture. And keep an eye on their dumpster because this stuff came off of, you know, wooden wooden pieces and whatnot. Okay. And what I like to do is, is um, see, it's got the, well, this one's got plastic on both sides. You want to put the side that doesn't have the space in between the bumps on the outside. And I know this looks big and awkward, but this is not a small painting, okay? Um, basically, I am matching it up, figuring out where I'm going to need to cut it at. I'll move that in a minute. Okay, I got enough here to overlap, overlap it. Now, let me see if this is going to be wide enough. And it will, barely, but it will. But that's okay. Um, I will go ahead and just use this side. It doesn't matter. Okay, let me get my scissors. I'm going to reach over here at my desk. Because I don't normally keep my scissors over here. Okay, I can see that I got about 3-4 inches here. So, I don't know if you can see me or not. I will... Make sure it gets on camera. Okay. 
basically I just started cutting the same place over here. And now I see I'm up to the edge where this is at. So I'm going to cut this along the edge. You can always uh, mark it with a pen and cut where the pen line's at. But because this has folds in it, I didn't need to do that. Okay, and now, of course, hang on one quick second. My tape is all the way over here. And I apologize about that. I thought I had everything over here. Okay, now, I got the plastic, the size I want. I want this part to be facing down because there's not going to be a, there might be a little bit of a gap right here, but that's okay. Okay, now, basically I'm just wrapping it like you would a package. Now you can use any kind of tape. I am a shipper. I ship out a lot of stuff during the month. So I always have a tape gun filled with tape. Okay, now I'm taping down this edge so it stays put. And I guess, let me see if I can turn it this way. Basically, I just fold my corners in. And then do this. And that gives you a lot more padding right here, too. Okay, and I'm not going to be able to pull a piece of tape off. See, what I do is I'll, I'll pull a small piece off just to tape down the edge to hold it and then I'll go back in there with my tape gun and tape across the whole thing. So, that so far all you need is you need some of that stretch wrap. You don't have to use a stretch wrap. Um, I have heard that you can use uh, parchment paper, um, that stuff that I that they um, that um, stamps you know stamp collectors get their stamps in that glassine paper okay now all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tape across this edge come here tape I am doing this because a dear friend of mine has a bigger bigger one than this to wrap and I'm doing this so she can see how easy it is um, once I get the box cut and tape shut. I'm going to stop the camera, go figure out my shipping, and come back and tell you what this cost. Okay, this time I'm going to remember, I'm going to have a piece of tape. I'm, gonna, I'm putting the piece of tape right under here, so when I fold it over, the tape will hold it in place. Um, you can't see that. There we go. See, I'm just folding my corners in. The tape is sticky side up under here. Now I'm just, uh, okay, corners came undone, but that's okay. What you do is, is you take another piece of tape, you fold it back in, and you tape it down again. I always use, I probably use way too much tape, but it's better to have too much than not enough is the way I look at it. Okay, I've got those corners folded down. Then I'm just going to go across here. Then I'm going to show you how I make this piece of cardboard into a box. I just went out, right before I came back to record, I just went out and bought this piece of cardboard. Okay, let me put my gun right there. Uh, let me move this and show you what it is. I went to the dollar store and this is one of those project boards. Okay, not a problem. It's nice cardboard. It's thick and it's big enough for this. What you've got to think of is, is now see I'm going to use this hinge right here. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, make another hinge right here and then I'll probably cut this part out. 
So first, let me get my yard stick. Nope, that's 12 inches. And let me get a pencil. Don't I have a pencil around here? Oh, I am just not prepared today, am I? Okay. Basically, well, first I'm going to measure over here. Because I'm going to take the painting off before I before I um, cu uh, cut it okay now this is going to end up being a hinge okay and then this is going to be a hinge too and what you do is, is um, you score along it you don't cut all the way through you score along it okay now I cannot see to draw a line over here so I'm just going to do a line with my pencil, move the painting, stay up there, and move all these caps so my yardstick will go flat. You want to make sure it's straight, and then you just basically draw a line here, okay? Now I'm going to end up cutting these two pieces out. Let me. Okay, I don't need the painting at the moment. Let me put it down there. I'm trying to think how I can do this so you can see. Well, um, I'm going to turn it this way. You're not going to be able to see the whole length over here, but you'll be able to see what I'm doing over here. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to score it. Now because my table isn't big enough, I'm only going to be able to score down to here so then I'll have to turn it around and do the other side. So basically, you don't want to cut all the way through. You want to cut halfway through and you just want to do a line where your pencil marks at. Okay, let me okay and now I'm also going to score this line now you can score over here but a little bit but you're going to end up cutting that part out okay let me do this okay now, I need to, yeah, this is the one I've already scored, so I need to score, I'm hoping that this is not too boring, but I want you to see everything it takes. Okay, I'm just matching up the yardstick with the line. Okay, now, let me turn it over this way so I can get a good angle on the camera. Excuse that. I knocked over one of my mixing cups that was up here on the shelf. Okay, that's not going to work. So, you may not be able to see it, but you're going to do the same thing to this line over here. Wait a minute, let me turn it this way. See, I didn't think of the logistics of how I'm going to get this under the camera. And I'm going to show this real quick, even though I'm not mixing any resin in this one. I just wanted to show that cup real quick. A little joke between a friend of mine and I. Just a little good friend joke. <laughs> Okay, come on. See, I didn't go all the way through, but I'm going to be cutting that part out. So I'll be cutting this line and that line. Now you want to make sure you got the line scored all the way from point to point. Okay, from, from end to end.
so let me finish scoring this one because I want it to be able to fold all you gotta do is see if you got a big enough table you can do this you can lay the whole thing flat a reason I'm not oops down with that heart reason I'm not scoring right here is because that's going to be the flat that goes up okay so anyway okay I got all my lines scored scissors let me see if I can get this up so you can see what I'm doing basically this corner and then this corner up here are cut out because when they when when you get them up folded up this edge and this edge will meet and that's where you're going to tape but you're still going to have one more thing to score after you get this part cut out and that's going to be this line which is going to make let me all i'm doing is just cutting out these corners That cardboard is now garbage or recyclables. See, this is all I'm doing. I'm cutting up to the to where the score lines meet. Okay. And feel free to fast forward through all this cutting and stuff if you've got the gist of what you need to do. Okay, now that score line's right here. You're going to bend it up. Okay, see that's why you scored it. So you had a place for it to bend. And now this one, see I wanted the white on the outside is why, okay. I didn't score that one enough. See, if you didn't score it enough and it doesn't separate, you can always go back in there with your knife and just lightly you're, what you're doing is, is there's like two layers of uh, cardboard with the little ridges in there oh I didn't cut the, did I cut this one? okay I can't see Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, now I have got somewhat of a box, okay? Now what you need to do is is um well see this is gonna hopefully go this way. I don't know yet. See now what you need to do is is you need to figure out how deep you want it. Okay, so what I do is is I've got this in here and I pull this up and basically you don't want it too deep not not deep enough but you don't want it too deep so you make a line I hope you saw how I did that um, you make a line right here now you know that the box needs to be this deep okay And you need it's best to score it from the outside of the box so what I'm doing is is I'm just making a mark right here so I know that on the other side okay course this is going to be hard to do too okay there's my where to go there's my line right there okay so I went over here and made that same mark right there okay As a matter of fact you can just do it this way just transfer it to that side and then Really, you don't need to draw a line if you can just hold your 
your yardstick, make sure you're cutting against something that's metal, okay? You don't want to be cutting against a wooden one. You want that metal edge right there so you're not cutting through the wood. Okay, come on. Okay, see, there's my line, and I'm just going to continue it on down this way. That's okay. That's okay. That's not a big deal. Oh, I don't have my fan on. Because I'm not working with resin, so I'm sweating. I, excuse my expression, I'm sweating like a stuck pig, pig in mud. Okay, let me show you now how this folds up. Of course, it's going to give me a fit. So it's best to hold it down. Okay, I don't have the line cut all the way through. I see now what's wrong. Oh, you guys are probably sitting there laughing at me, but when you're trying to do this on a small table, I thought about moving my cameras, okay, but I didn't. Okay, there we go. Now I have the side of my box and part of this. And don't worry, don't worry if this and this doesn't reach, because you can always put another piece of cardboard in there. Because what you're going to do is, is it's going to be, it's going to be down like this, the painting side down, okay? Now what you want to do is, is you want to make that same cut over here. And you don't really need to mark, hold it. What you can do is, is since you've got a yardstick, is... You can measure from score line to score. Uh, it would help if I had my glasses on so I could see. And this is an inch and a half. So this box is going to end up being an inch and a half deep. Okay, so let me mark. There's there, there's the original score line. So you want to mark. Oops, you can't see that. I know you can't see that. Okay, let me do it this way. I'll do it over here. Okay, see, there's the, there's the score line. So all you want to do is just make a mark, an inch and a half, and I'm just going to do that down here again in another place, just to give me a place to match up the two, uh, the yardstick. Okay, I'm going to do this. Okay, now I marked an inch and a half from the score line here and here. All I do is I just hold hold my yardstick up there. You can always get somebody to help you do this part because you don't want it to move once you've got the yardstick there. Now you're not cutting all the way through, you're still just scoring. See, it just shifted, so you got to be careful if it shifts. Because you want it to be a straight line. Now, I don't know if it's going to bend. Yep, yeah, there we go. And it will bend this way. Okay, now... See, it's not going to quite match up. Don't worry about that. Um, as a matter of fact, those pieces of cardboard that I cut out, which I tossed on the floor, will go in there to close that gap. Okay, so now, oh, you got to do one more inch and a half marking. Um, you got to do it, let me turn it this way. Oh. This is turning out to be a long video. I am sorry about that, but, okay inch and a half. I only need the one marking. Uh, knife, knife, knife. There it is.
reason you want these lines to be straight is because in that way you know the box is going to fit. Don't worry if you cut too far through it because you can be like me and you can be the tape queen and you can put a whole bunch of tape on it by taping over all those edges. Okay, now, where's my painting? There we go. We are almost done. Now, all I got to do is do the inch and a half marking over here and get rid of this piece and this piece. So, I'm going to do it on camera, but I might cut this part out because I know you guys have got to be bored by now. I apologize. Okay, let me just do it this way. Yardstick. Uh, if it was a snake, it would have bit me. Okay. Pencil. Okay, this is our fold line. So we're going to go an inch and a half, and I'm going to make more than one mark because I want to make sure I've got enough to, to match up. Don't worry that it's, I can't cut over there because I'll turn it around and cut it that way. See, I just went a little crooked, but that may not be that big a deal. Okay, because um, this is this I cut it, I cut this part out. Okay, I think. Let me see. Uh, let me finish the line, and then I'll figure out. Because I got to I, I won't be able to know which part I'm cutting out until I got all the edges folded up. Now this may seem like a lot of work, but you're going to have a very well wrapped package, okay? Okay, now I see where I cut out. Okay, you don't need this part right here, or this part, or this part, or even this big part over here. So, you go in here, and you cut this down. To the corner right there okay and then it's going to be kind of hard for me to do this on camera you don't need this part right here either okay and the same thing over here you don't need you can cut here let me show you here and here I mean, you could leave that on because it's scored, and you could tuck it inside the box, but I don't want to put the extra weight of the cardboard in there. Okay, let me see. Oh my god, we're almost home free. No, we're not. This needs an inch and a half marking. So this part can fall. No, I do have an inch and a half. Oh. Okay. It's going to give me a fit. There we go. Okay. Now, look at this. Our box is all done. The only thing we have to do now is we've got these pieces we saved because this box is just a little bit shorter. Then then the um see we got to fill this part in right here. That's not hard to do. You just stick these pieces in there. Okay, wait a minute. That one's too short. 
see so don't throw away your scraps yet okay and I'm gonna make sure that as soon as I get this uploaded I share this video with the girl who's getting this so she can see how good I wrapped her package okay there we go I want to make sure yep this is this is the back of the print picture so the other part part is down and if you feel like you really need to you can always cut another piece of uh, of a uh, bubble wrap just to fit in there okay so basically well I want these to stay put so I'm gonna do some tape on them first See, this is all I'm doing. I'm just making sure that those pieces right there don't shift. See, that just fills in the gap. This, this package is, I'll tell you something, I have been wrapping stuff for years. Okay, first I'm going to go around it just to hold the sides. Okay, at this point, you can put the tape wherever you want, okay? I just did that to hold the sides. And all you do is you just match up the corners. Let me, I'm going to tape this, tape this down first. Basically, you're just going to the seams. Now, don't think that you're using too much tape. Tape doesn't weigh that much, so it's not going to be, it's not going to add a lot of weight to the package. Okay, now, I'm going to tape these in. And the girl who's getting this is one of the girls that won in my uh, contest for 200 subscribers. Sorry, I can't, I can't find the edge of the end of the tape. It got stuck somehow under here. Okay, there we go. Now, whenever you've got a piece of an edge that didn't really stick down like that, put some more tape over it. Because I'll tell you something, those little pieces of tape can get stuck on the inside of the, the, the post office trucks or whatever. Okay, let me see. Aha, I didn't go around this one yet. And if you feel that you cut through it too deep, I'll show you here in a minute what I'm going to do. Okay, now, that one looks just a little bit deep. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to tape a piece of tape. And I'm basically just going to tape up this corner right here. And another thing I like to do is I like to put more tape on the, on the edges because of the fact that what if this what if this piece right here was to get caught on something so see I am the tape queen I'm sorry I do a lot of taping on packages but since 2002 first doing eBay then in 2012 I started selling bows and hair bows and 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 ribbon and headbands and I've shipped overseas, you know, um, and now I'm, now I'm shipping paintings. It's really the same, same theory in everything you're doing. You're just making sure that your insides are well protected. And, yeah, I'm going to go around these edges too, just to be sure. Okay, so I'm going to stop this because i got to go in the other room to weigh it. And then i got to get on the computer to see what it's going to cost to ship. 
and I will make sure I put these two little put the second part of the video together with the first part so I shall be back after I know what it passed away okay be right back okay I'm back I taped up everywhere I felt it needed to be taped I mean you can go as crazy as you want with the tape this ended up being four pounds this was a 12 by 24 inch canvas I was able to ship it priority mail now it's just going to uh, a couple states away so that's probably why it was a little bit cheaper than if it went to like uh, California or New York I'm right in the middle of the country in uh, Wisconsin anyway and I covered it all up because uh, I didn't want, want her address or my address to be out there um, you're not gonna believe this this cost in my shipping eight dollars and twenty cents because it weighed four pounds okay it is 27 by 13 and I think I put two inches in for this I can't remember now and I have a couple rolls of this tape around the house the priority mail tape I always like decorating the packages when they go priority anyway so if you have any questions let me know in the comments okay uh, let me sit down so you can see me um, the, and my hair is not up today because I'm not doing resin I put my hair up right hopefully I didn't get any of my hair under here I do that a lot I get my hair little pieces of hair caught under the tape because I'm so into what I'm doing anyway I want to thank y'all for watching today um, I love all my old subscribers new subscribers and just new viewers I hope this explained to you exactly how you can uh, wrap a package and ship it for free because um, I'm gonna say the tape well this tape was free but the clear tape and the label the printing of the label you can figure maybe 50 cents excuse my phone I forgot to turn it off when I turn the camera back on um, but anyway um, and the cardboard to make this box was only a dollar um go get yourself some of that um here it is go get yourself some of this to wrap around the package first it protects it really really well it sticks on itself but it doesn't stick to the uh to the uh painting and um and then the bubble wrap um you can go buy some if you need to but um like i said i found some really heavy duty bubble wrap in the dumpster of a furniture place just when you bring it home just clean it off and you can reuse it and it's really really good for wrapping around packages what else you can get to wrap or not packages the painting I mean what else you can get to wrap around the painting is that foam stuff that they use for packing dishes Walmart sells it as a whole roll uh, I think it's 75 square feet but it's a little pricey so I'm trying to use up my free um, stuff first you know the the my dumpster dive I I, I don't care I needed it and it, it was in good shape and it was you know it was there it was free so I dumpster dive for some of my supplies you know not a big deal I save a penny where I can so this cost me I'm going to say um right around ten dollars with the shipping and the packaging I'm going to say this cost right around ten dollars to ship anyway so I really hope you guys enjoyed the video um, any questions leave them down in the comments I check the comments about once or twice a day especially on brand new videos um, but even if it's an old video even if it's months from now a new comment it'll come to the top of my feed um, so if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe um, if you like the video give it a thumbs up and all I can say is I love the resin right out of you guys I love old subscribers new subscribers new viewers even thumbs down people I love you guys because that's still traffic for me in, in YouTube's eyes that's still traffic so anyway um, um, so I'm going to end this video and I hope you learned what you need to do and I hope you had a good laugh over me fighting the box trying to cut it and keep it on camera. <laughs> Sorry about that but I was 
I'm working in a very very small spot here um, so anyway all I could say is bye for now hope to see you in the next video